Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be talking about the new Android 21 event, Dragon Ball Fighter Z Super Warrior Edition. So this is going to be based off of the free-to-play Android 21 and the event that you can actually grab her from. Um, so we're going to talk about her, the linking abilities, and her Dokkan form. So let's jump into it. First off, level 1, Mysterious Waves in Earth's Crisis. And Earth's Crisis, uh, there's this Bulma item. Super, actually, really super good, actually. Uh, she is attack plus 25% for 5 turns, so she is definitely something worth getting, um, especially those battles that you want, that you need a little bit more attack damage to do. Um, something like maybe the full the, the LR Frieza event or the LR Goku event, she will come in handy. I used to use her until the better free-to-play units have come out. But um, yeah, definitely grind that out. I would get at least 100 of them on standby for yourself. Uh, they do drop from level 1. It's kind of worth it. Level 2, Clone Warrior, just some training items, some basic stuff, go through that. Level 3 is Sensu Beans if you need them. Uh, level 4 is where you get your Android 21 card. She drops from here. Um, Conflicted Heart Android 21. Level 5 is going to be some Awakening Medals. You don't really need those. Level 6 is going to be the Android 21 Medals, which is definitely going to be needed and useful. Uh, level 7 is Bulma Items. She is Attack and Defense plus 25% for 3 turns. Definitely worth it. Uh, level 8, you have the ability to get Golden Capsules to drop. So if you're looking for some uh, Kai medals, like Supreme Kai or Elder Kai medals, uh, that might be a good level for you to grind out. I don't know what the actual drop rate of them are. And level 9 is just the end of the event where you get some Supreme Kai uh, planet training. Uh, characters from Android category increase the chance of extra drop, so bring your Android category teams with you. If you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check it out. Um, yeah, I guess you could have this kid, clone kid Boo as a random encounter. He rewards more Zenian experience points. Uh, normal 10,000 Zenny and 20,000 experience. Z Heart is 25,000 Zenny and 55 uh, experience, which I don't think is that great. Um, pretty much, as I get a look at this, they have metal sums now. So the base card is going to be the Android 21. You need 10 of her medals in order to awaken her. So you just need 10 total. It's kind of worth it. You definitely want to do that. She's a very good support item. Uh, you do when you do awaken her, you get one Dragonstone clear stage fours on Z Heart one and five times. You get two more of her. Um, clear all stages on normal and Z Heart. You get two more Dragonstone. So, pretty self-explanatory, basic event. Now, um, in terms of the metal, yeah, it's only for her as of right now. And so, we pretty much, yeah, that's all we really need to talk about for her. Now, the card itself, Conflicted Heart, Android 21, normal. Um, not much of a leader. Leader skill is Android category, key, category of key plus one. Uh, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super attack is absolute release ball. Supreme damage recovers 5% HP. That's actually really useful. Passive skill, powerful scientist. Android category, allies, key plus one. Attack and defense plus 20%, which is pretty cool. Link skills are Brainiacs, Metamorphosis, Android Assault, Battlefield, Diva, and Scientist. Nothing really too crazy there, but she does have some good linking buddies. She's part of both the Android category and the Peppy Gals category. Um, the fact that she Doken Awakens means you have another TUR to bring on a Peppy Gals team for extra drops. So keep that in mind if you're looking for those training items from Master, Master Roshi event, the Daily Master Roshi event. <clears throat> Max stats are going to be HP of 6380, attack of 7751, and defense of 3053. Now, you can do dupe system if you want. She is an SSR. If you do dupe system, I'm not going to tell you to rainbow her. Um, but what I'm going to say is because she is a support unit and she is an intelligence unit, you might want to consider giving her full dodge. You don't need to. You can give her crit if you want to, if you feel like she you, you want to. Uh, a double attack is also really good. Uh, crit's also really good because she does do the HP recovery. So you can do, you could definitely get some more HP back if she's doing a little bit more damage. Again, she's not going to attack really good because she does only do supreme damage. And uh, she has a 12 key multiplier of only 130%. But if you're running her on a 170 lead team, team she can actually recover a decent amount of HP for you. So uh, that's up to you on how you want to play it with her. Uh, she is very good on either uh, any three of them. So either full dodge, uh, full crit, or full double attack, however you want to play it. Uh, just remember, if, you, if she does a full double attack, she, you're getting a lot more HP back. But I think the damage output is still for crit, so that they overall do more damage than a double super attack does, because you have a higher chance. Well, when you get the crit, it's just you're getting a crit. You don't have a guaranteed super attack. So um, I would probably say crit and dodge, and then, or if you really want to, do a uh, double attack. But yeah, that's just my opinion on the matter. That's why I think what I think. Um, don't I, I wouldn't recommend rainbowing her. In terms of her best linking buddies in game, uh, so the the best four are right here. Best one that I could recommend to link with is going to be her STR form. 
Rest ER form obviously does the most damage. And um, I think I talked about this in the Android linking video that I did, the, the team building guide for Android I released, I think, on Saturday. Um, they have they share Brainiacs, Metamorphosis, Artificial Human, and Female Fighter. So she gets two key, a defense buff, uh, two defense buffs, actually. One's a flat-out buff, which is kind of whack, and then you have Brainiacs, which is attacking defense plus 10% up. And they have HP recovery of 5%. So that is really, really useful. Um, you also have the other, the the uh, her Dokkan form. So you're going to kind of, I'm not going to tell you, here's the thing. <laughs> it's very difficult to say, uh, to do this, but honestly, I really think you should. I think you should grind out two of them to super attack 10 with all four view pads unlocked. Dokkan Waken one and keep the other one. They could both be run on the same team. They really can. Her Dokkan form and her Undokkan form both can run on the same team. They are both support units. They both give attack and defense out. The one, the Undokkan form that we're talking about right now doesn't give a lot of key, but she still does give key, one key, and she gives an attack and defense buff for Android category, which is really good. So she's going to not only get the buffs from the leaders, she's going to give you buffs because of this category. So it's kind of worth it in my opinion, and she's also one of the best linking buddies for the STR Android 21. So if you have Android STR 21, um, not only are you going to get one key here, you're going to get three keys, so you only need three additional key uh, to launch a super attack, which is very, very easy to do, especially if you have her in the middle, the Android 21 transforming SDR one in the middle, because whoever's off of rotation is going to be uh, giving her link skills as well. Now, why did I say it like that instead of having the support on rotation? Well, they're best linking buddies, so just like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, um, with the Super Saiyan 3 Golden Grade 8 Goku with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, these two kind of fall in the same category. The same thing with the Dokkan form, which we're going to talk about in a bit. Uh, but with her Dokkan form, she does share four link skills as well, which is Brainiac's Transform, Artificial Human, Female Fighter, uh, and then the two Peppy Gals for the Balmas, Brainiac's Female Fighter, Scientist, and the other Valentine's Balma, which is Brainiac's Female Fighter and Scientist. So four key and attack and defense plus 10% up. Definitely worth it. Um, but again, you're never going to really run Peppy Gals category like that, so you can go ahead and just... Um, you know, you could have them there for when you're going up against the actual event with uh, with Master Roshi. Uh, in terms of her Dokkan form, after when you Dokkan Awaken her, she just needs 10 of her own medals, which we've talked about. So she Dokkan Awakens into Conflicted Mind, Android 21, transformed to good. Now, her leader ability is Android Category, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Not that great, but if you don't have any Android Category leader, you can definitely do that if you're looking to run a category, an Android Category team for the event specifically. Um, super attack is excellent, full core supreme damage to the enemy, and recover 7% HP. Android skill, um, or passive skill is second chance. Android ad a category allies, key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%, which is very, very useful. Link skills are Brainiacs, Metamorphosis, Android Assault, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Battlefield Diva, and Shattering the Limit. Very, very good link, link skills, like I said before. Um, I think this one, she just, she gained Big Bad Bosses here, because she didn't have Big Bad Bosses at all before. So that's really awesome. Actually, she gained a lot, I think. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so she gained two. She gained Big Bad Bosses and Shattering the Limit. Uh, category is still Android and Peppy Gals. Max stats are HP of 6980, attack of 8204, and defense of 3312, with a 12 key multiply of 140%. Now, our Dokkan form, you might actually want to consider giving her full crit, a 7% HP with a crit. It's actually pretty damn decent. Uh, attack and defense plus 30%. She's giving herself attack and defense plus 30%. And uh, honestly, so um, in terms of, of teams, I personally would run the TUR with the STR Android 21. And then on the other side, I would run Android 7. Now, obviously this is if you have all the units, the new Android 17 with the Android 16. And then I would have the Undokon form running around off of primary rotation. That way when she's there, um, she's she's always there giving everyone key attack and defense plus 20%. But when they're both on the same rotation, you get three key and attack and defense plus 50%. So that HP regener that HP recovery, not only are they both going to do more HP regeneration, because one does seven, one does five, if you give them full crit, um, they're, they're going to get a lot more health recovery from it. In terms of, uh, see, this is what I was actually talking about over here between them. Uh, this is what I would do. I would have these two on primary rotation together, and I would just have the Undo form off of rotation, because they do link very well together, and she does link with some of the uh, Android units. These two link for five link skills. Let's actually go over here and translate to English. Um... They pretty much link for the same one the other one runs with. Uh, you have Brainiac's Transformation, Artificial Human, Female Fighter. They also have the additional Big Bad Bosses link. So when your HP drops below 50, uh, 80%, you get the additional 25 attack and defense, which is really, really good. Um, and also the Intelligence and the, the, the two Intelligence, the free-to-play ones, they do link that well together as well. Um, so just remember that. They get a lot of HP regeneration uh, with Metamorphosis, especially. So that's 15% just from them being there on top of what they do in damage. So, again, that's just my opinion on the matter. Definitely at least get one of this one, uh, the TUR with four dupads unlocked with crits. 
her. You can do whatever you want with dodge or crit or whatever the heck you want to do with her. Up to you, but that's just going to be my recommendation. Uh, as you see here, best linking buddies in game at three or more. This is just a whole bunch of messes. So, like, I'm not talking about all of them. You can see here, this Android 18 over here, the uh, Broly one links uh, four link skills with her. Uh, personally, I would not run this with her, but she does because um, they they well, she, they do link together, so I'm, I'm just going to go over it. Shadow and Limit, Female Fighter, Shocking Speed, so six key right there, and Artificial Human. Not really worth it in my opinion. We already talked about the SDR. Everyone else here links for three. Obviously, these are all the Peppy Gals. Um, and then you have the Androids as well. Android 17, Android 13, Android 21, and Cell. Uh, it looks like the Intelligence Cell out of all the Cells is the best one that links with her for three link skills. I think the others are less. Um, just so you're aware, if you like to run Cell and you only have the Intelligence one, they share four key and Brain X for attack and defense plus 10% up. And then over here, just unique cards. Um, so I'm just going to talk about these four right here. So you have Janemba. Um, I think it's only because of Metamorphosis. Yeah, Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, and Shocking Speed. So that's not that bad for a villain. Actually, no, she's super, so you can't even run her on a villain's team. Uh, but these two are there if you're running like a, maybe a, a generic team. Uh, you have Buhan over here. I believe it's because he has Metamorphosis as well. Big Bad Bosses, Metamorphosis, Shocking Speed. Cooler has Metamorphosis as well. Yeah, I think it's just because they all have Metamorphosis. Unless it's in uh, this one, doesn't it? Oh, he does have metamorphosis. Okay, so that's why these guys are on the list. I'm like, why were these here? It's because they all have metamorphosis and android, or not android, uh, great saying, man, sh shattering the limit, shocking speed, and brainiacs. So that's pretty much it. Um, you're never gonna really run it with any of these villains over here. You're never gonna really run it with this, uh, I think it's the Baba Shop, uh, saying, man. Uh, pretty much it's just the top left and the bottom right over here are the only ones you're really gonna ever run with alongside of her. Um, in terms of best linking buddies, we already talked about it. It's going to be Android, the, two, the Android uh, STR, Android 21, and Android 18 STR. Um, in terms of Peppy Gals category, we already talked about that a little bit too. Uh, the Android 18. Um, then we also have the... Oh, uh, damn, what's her name again? I, I always forget her name because I hate her so much. Uh, Re Brienne, so three. Uh, she was just really annoying. I couldn't take her freaking... The, the stuff in the, in the super. <laughs> uh, so she has transfer of uh, oh look at that she does have uh, metamorphosis it's never gonna be really needed uh, and for key total and link skills uh, Balma is going to be Brainiacs and for link skills so attacking defense plus 10% um, Brainiacs again with four link skills and you have Android 18 the tech one for four link skills and artificial human for defense plus a thousand up uh, honestly I would say run her on the Peppy Gals team just because there's no LRs and you want TURs she's a free to play TUR so it's kind of worth it uh, definitely run her on the team if you have that, you know, if you grind her out. Um, and then last but not least, an Android category team. We already talked about Android uh, 21. We already talked about Android 18 and the other Android 18. And we talked about Cell. So what's left is Android, the two Android 13s and the Android 17. So Android 17 links with her for three link skills. Um, you have, let's see over here. Let's go translate to English. It's what? Key plus four, uh, defense plus 1,000. That's not bad, honestly. Plus she's giving two more keys. So he's there. they will always be getting super attacks off. If you're going to run them together, um, honestly, if you don't have this Android 21 and you're running two 17s, I would just keep her off of primary rotation because she's not going to really be needed too much. Uh, you're going to want to run him uh, with, uh, well, actually, this isn't even the physical one. So I, I, I retract my last name and this is not the physical one. So, uh, but you can run them two together um, if you don't have the 17. If you're running a double, a double lead, it, he would probably be a decent unit because what does he do? Attack and defense plus 70% up and... Uh, he does another 15% up protect ball receives and defense plus 10% up. So he's a really good unit if you don't have the physical 7. Um, and then the two Android 13s, which is pretty much the same thing. Metamorphosis, Artificial Human, and Shattering the Limit. So 5% HP recovery, defense plus 1,000, Shattering the Limit. And the Intelligence one does the same exact thing. Overall, she's very niche. Um, the, the, the team is very niche. Uh, she is going to be a card that you're going to run on an Android category team no matter what. Um, at least in my opinion, unless they get some better units out there. But because she is very good and she links with one of the staple units in the team, you definitely want to get at least one with full four Dupes unlocked because that HP regeneration probably going to want to give her full crit unless you're doing the, the uh, SSR variant, then you might want to give her dodge just because she's not going to do a lot anyway. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. That's my review on this category. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you're running. Um, and if you do anything different, I personally... Wow, I got hair in my mouth. <laughs> I personally... Um, think that this that she is a very good unit and you should definitely get at least her to so tur four dupe has unlocked and invest a little bit of dupe system into her just so you can get that hp regeneration if you plan on running a full android category but anyway guys thank you again for joining me here today make sure to subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you all later peace